Today on Running to Him. The gift, or work, is based on desire and then ability. Well, if you're joining us in going through those following letters, today's reading is 2 Corinthians chapter 8, and we'll concentrate on verses 9 through 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 9 through 12 says this, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that through his poverty you might, you might become rich. I give my opinion in this matter, for this is to your advantage. Who were the first to begin a year ago not only to do this, but also to desire to do it, but now finish it doing it also? That so just as there are was a readiness to desire, so there may be also the completion of it by your ability. For if the readiness is present, it is acceptable according to what the person has, not according to what the person does not have. Now, people have many desires in life. In my high school years, I desired to become a great gymnast. And when that failed to come about, I chose to be a world-class tennis player. Now, since you've not seen me play in any professional matches, you kind of know how that turned out as well. Having a desire to do something is very good. We cannot succeed in our walk with Christ without having a desire to accomplish things for Him. Now, without a clear desire, we will fail in our walk with Him. So we should also clearly evaluate our relationship with Him. As believers, we have the Holy Spirit to guide us. If you have no desire to serve God, then I would question your relationship with Him. But there is a difference between desire and ability. We might desire something, but not have the ability, the training, or both to accomplish the task. Now, if I wish to become a rocket scientist, then I need to be good at math. If I desire to be a doctor, I have to have the ability to remember vast pieces of information and then be able to apply those, those pieces of information, that knowledge, to a specific task. Therefore, we must match our desires with both our abilities and our training. Now, frankly, I have a confession to make. At one point, I looked up to my older brother. I looked up to him so much that I wanted to be just like him. But there was a problem. I was not like him. He was good at math. He was good at mechanical things. And um, he was considerably organized. I wasn't good at any of those things. And that's an understatement, frankly. I couldn't become like him because God made me different. Not less of a person, just different. Verse 12 tells us that if the desire is present, then the result is acceptable based on that desire. Now, I want to give my life to doing things for Christ. The result of that desire is based on the amount of money, time, or skill that God gives me. For example, I could desire to help at the church building's maintenance, but my skills and abilities only allow me to hold the ladder or to be a gopher for one of those skilled in maintenance. I should give what I have, not that which I don't. Each of us should desire to serve God. Some of us are going to be evangelists or preachers or teachers or something else. Some will be supporters in some ways to those people. And some may be tasked with being a prayer warrior. Be satisfied with the skills that God has given you, but desire to use those skills to the best of your ability and no less. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. If you listen to us on Facebook or YouTube, please like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. You can always email us at phineasjacobus at runningtohim.net.